In my previous video, I showed you how to remove Sharpie from the underside of a vintage wooden salad bowl. In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean and condition the wood and restore the salad bowl into beautiful, usable condition. This is a really nice vintage wooden salad bowl that I found at Goodwill. I paid $7 for it. It's a seven orange, but again, they put some Sharpie mark on there and uh, we'll just try to get that off with a little bit of alcohol on the wood. Just wipe it. As you can see, that's coming off really quite easily off the wood there. Just blot it with the towel. Because this bowl is going to be used as a salad bowl for food serving purposes, the first thing I'm going to do is use some hydrogen peroxide solution to kill any bacteria that might be lurking in the wood. This is a 3% hydrogen peroxide topical solution and you can find it at any store, Target or Walgreens, Walmart. I'm going to use a cotton round. Oops. Soak it with the peroxide. And just gently wipe over the whole bowl. letting the peroxide soak into the wood all over. I've gone all the way around. Now I'm going to do the bottom. I'll do the top rim. You can see the dirt on there. Now flip it over. And just do the inside. There's still plenty of peroxide on there. It's nice and wet. Just going to make sure that every little part of the bowl is covered with the peroxide. This will just kill any germs, any bacteria, and just give it an initial cleaning. I'm going to let it soak in for about three to five minutes and then we'll be ready for the next step. I applied the hydrogen peroxide and let it sit for three to five minutes just to make sure all the bacteria were killed off and that it dried out completely. It looks better already. My next step is to take sandpaper. I'm using about 150 grit to just lightly rub over the bowl to smooth it out and remove any old varnish that's on there and it's making it uneven as you can see. So once I use the sandpaper gently you'll see that this old varnish is removed. I'm just going to go all over the bowl just gently like so, 
turning as I go. As you can see on the bottom there's a little bit of white paint here and some black marks. I think it might be Sharpie. So I'm going to use the sandpaper just to lightly remove these marks. This is the original tag and I'm going to be quite careful because I like the fact that the original tag is still on the bowl and I would like to preserve it. sanding you want to stay with the direction of the wood grain. The wood grain runs across the bowl this way so I'm going to sand staying in the direction of the grain. If you're enjoying the video and you're finding it helpful, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, write me a comment, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I'm going to unfold the sandpaper and refold it to get a fresher piece. I'll do the same with the inside and the top rim. The top rim has a little bit of white paint and I think the sandpaper will do a good job of removing it. Yeah, I took that right off. Going to finish off the bowl, working on the bottom of it, making sure I get the curved edges. As you can see, the sandpaper did a really good job of removing the old varnish and we have a nice smooth surface. At this point what you could do is use a half a lemon and some salt and you take the lemon and the salt and rub over these old stains if you'd like to remove them. It bleaches the wood and takes out the stain. But personally, I like the history of these stains. I like to leave them. It just gives the bowl a more aged look. And that's something I enjoy. So I'm going to skip the lemon salt step and leave 
the stains as they are. And the next step, we're going to wash the bowl in some warm soapy water. My next step is to submerge the wooden bowl into some warm, slightly soapy water. This is going to clean off any remaining dirt and rinse off the dust from the sandpaper. I'm just going to submerge it into the water. I don't want to soak it. I'm just going to use a paper towel just to wipe it over gently. Get all the sandpaper dust and any remaining dirt off of it. You can see some of the sandpaper dust on the paper towel. Get some water in the inside, just give it a wipe over. I'm going to let the soapy water out of the sink. Give it a rinse clean. And then I'm going to wash the soap off the bowl with some nice clean water. Nice cold water, make sure all the soap is rinsed away. And I'm going to take a dry paper towel, just wipe it off. Get the majority of the water off. And then I'm just going to let the bowl sit for about an hour. So the wood dries and we can be ready for the next step. I have my clean and dry wooden bowl here and the last step is to apply some FDA approved food grade mineral oil to the wood. When you're restoring an item that you're going to be using for serving food it's really important to use a food grade mineral oil just to make sure that it's safe for consumption. I'm going to be using this FDA approved food grade mineral oil, it's by Fox Run Craftsman. I'm going to apply a good amount to a cotton round. And gently rub it onto the wood making sure it soaks in. Don't be afraid to use a good amount. The wood will absorb the oil. This wood is very thirsty. It's sucking it, the oil right into the grain. I'm going to go all the way around, rubbing the oil into the wood. Now, as you can see, it's giving the wood a lovely color and a shine. It's going to condition it. I think I need a bit more. 
Let's pour a bit more onto the cotton. Continue to rub it into the wood. I'm going to go all around the bowl, including the bottom and the inside. And then I shall leave it to soak in for about an hour. And then I'll give it a second coat. I'm going to do around the rim. The inside. Just wipe it on and turn the bowl. Make sure I get every area. It's really turning a lovely colour. You can tell when you need more oil because your cotton round will start to stick and drag on the wool, on the wood. So make sure you've got plenty on your cotton. Continue to wipe it on. It's easy to see which areas you still need to get because they're going to look dry and a lighter colour. As you wipe the oil on, they turn glossy and dark. Just tip on a little bit more oil. Cover the bottom of the bowl. It's going to feel very greasy when you're finished, but the wood will absorb all the oil. And as I said, it'll probably enjoy a second coat. When the oil's soaked in, it'll just appear nice and glossy and conditioned and not greasy at all. While I have my soaked cotton round, I have a pair of sour tongs. They're clean and dried. I'm just going to go over them with the oil, give them a condition. You can see the wood sucking up the mineral oil, it's turning a darker, glossier color. Do the other one. And I'll be able to use these tongs in the salad bowl to serve the salad a little bit later. In my next video, I'll be showing you how to restore these vintage silver plated bread baskets to their original shine. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this how to video. Please give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. I'll see you next time. Bye.